Cleveland Masonic. Great venue. Tuesday, May the 9th. Not sure who's coming with them, but anytime you get a chance to catch the mule, it's a good night. MasonicCleveland.com for all the info, tickets on that show and whatever else they have coming up. Car 10, want to go see Government Mule? Uh, these are yours. Good luck. 216-578-1007 or 800-348-1007. Bob, Bob Quiz. How much crap can 270 minutes hold? It might be crap, but we love it. The Alan Cox Show. On 100.7 WMMS. Blue check. <laughs> Blue check. The checks are gone on the tweeter. No more goodbye. Blue checks. The day that they said would come for people that have legacy verified blue checks on Twitter, including all of, all of us. We were all blue check types. And now the only blue checks you'll see I on think Twitter. It was just me and you. Oh. Well, now it's none of us. Yeah. It's a great equalizer. The people you see that still have blue checks, those are the people who are paying for it. Um, and I think it's probably safe to say that most people are not going to pay for it. I think it's only eight dollars a month, but um, uh, I, and again, I don't understand the point of it. I know Elon Musk has said that this is to I don't know. Try following the logic of that guy. Can't even get a rocket that doesn't explode. Um, but he said that removing the blue checks initially, I think his rationale was that's how you will really know who the real people are. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, they want to charge you for a blue check. And again, uh, we kind of tend to overestimate the influence of Twitter. Again, it's not even one of the top 10 most widely used social media platforms in the world. It's largely the domain of media. Um, and so th there's kind of a bubble effect for people uh, like us who do this for a living. But a lot of people aren't on Twitter. A lot of people don't care about the blue check marks. And um, I wouldn't even kick up eight bucks a month oh. uh, to get mine back because who cares? You know, when Elon Musk first took over, he had all these people making a big show about how they were going to leave Twitter en masse. Nobody's leaving Twitter. It's a big platform. People have established, uh, you know, followings and fan bases there. People aren't running across the street and doing something else. Uh, but they sure as hell ain't going to be. And listen, some people will. Uh, they'll go, yeah, eight bucks. What do I care? But I think on principle, there are a lot of people who are like, screw that guy. I'm not doing that. And um, you can uh, count me in that group. You listen to us on iHeartRadio, by the way. Uh, tell me where you do it. We have all kinds of uh, people who listen all over the country. Throughout North America, we have people who listen overseas. Mackenzie listens in Medford, Oregon. Evan's up in Minneapolis. Tom is in Carbondale, Pennsylvania. Wally is out in Albuquerque. Uh, Tom listens in Naples, Florida. Michael's in Tucson, Arizona. Alex is in Dallas. Nick is one of our Canadian bureau chiefs. He's up in North Bay, Ontario. And we have Jason. Now, I don't know if Jason is still a bureau chief. Because unless somebody tells me that they've moved, uh, I don't get the update. So I do always, people are obviously under no obligation. They might not even be listeners anymore, let alone bureau chiefs. But when people update me, as to their comings and goings, I appreciate it. So I like to keep the list current. But Jason was a bureau chief we had in Zhejiang, China. China. And I was reading about how uh, the Chinese are trying to get the kids to fall in love. Hmm. Because uh, they're dealing with um, uh, people aren't getting pregnant. And so they're concerned about this. And so they're saying, hey, we are going to give you a week to fall in love. That's what we'd like you to do. China colleges want kids to fall in love in a week. Um, now, when somebody met, I, I heard somebody talking about it, and I thought they said gynecologist. No, China colleges is what they said. <laughs> China <laughs> colleges want kids to fall in love in a week. Now, in a world of reality television, it's not so laughable anymore, right? You watch show, people would, would, would stay glued to a television where there was a show 
about Chinese college students given a week long holiday. I will watch to fall the show right now. Huh? I will watch the show right now. I'm yeah. into Love is Blind. And my girlfriend just was texting me and she's like, How come we've never watched Love at First Sight? I'm like, I know about this show. So married there's, at first sight? Yeah, married at first sight. Yeah. That's I've watched it. the first season of that. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. So former Love is Blind cast members say that the Netflix show literally ruins lives. Mm-hmm. That's why we watch it. That's the, I'm not watching it to watch people fall in love. I'm watching people try to become famous and ruin their lives. That's you want to so see you want to see him crash and burn? I mean, that's just what says the, the guy who is. has surviving uh, surviving R. Kelly on repeat. That's what I'm saying. Um, I, I, but I'm so wrong. Hmm? These people are voluntarily going out to this show to do this. Yeah, they think they want to be famous, and then they realize how terrible the internet is. Yeah. And they're like, y'all are so mean. I mean, I cry about it, too, but I couldn't imagine it on a millions of followers level. Mm-hmm. How so would they, they ask how, for it. But how would they not know how terrible the Internet is? I mean, half these people call themselves influencers. I mean, they're very online. It's why they want to get on these shows in the first place, I don't know to th- burnish their reputation. Was, you, can't, you, you can't get on one of these shows and then go, I didn't know people were going to be so mean. I didn't know the premise of this particular show, but I know when people who do like Big Brother, they're sequestered in a house and they can't see social media until they get out. So it's like the circle. Yeah, so I can understand going into a situation where you're like, you think you're being funny and you don't know how you're perceived because you're yourself. You don't see it from the outside. You don't in. see how they edit it and everything like that. Yeah, too. And, and well, I that was part say, is Big Brother's live. R- but that part is true, of course, but also. No matter how well or poorly you're edited into the show, there's going to be people who hate your guts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you're going to know. And no matter how nice you might be on a show or portrayed to be nice, there's going to be people who think you suck. Nine colleges in China have announced a week-long holiday for their students to find love. They have a plunging birth rate over there. And so their only homework was to... Um, take notes, write diaries, keep track of their personal development and make travel videos to learn to love nature, love life, and enjoy love and find love. Uh, I'm sure there's a couple of things lost in translation here. Uh, They want their students to feel the breath of spring. (laughs) Uh, Listen, what's the matter with that? Even here in Northeast Ohio, you can take some time to feel the breath of spring. Don't feel the breath of pound cake, though. He had onions for lunch. I also had gum. What kind of gum? Was it cinnamony? Was it like a tea berry? Was it a mint? Tea was berry? it a Mentos? He's not 70. They uh, still have it in the, uh, tea berry is still in where? the. You go to Giant Eagle. No. It's in the impulse aisle. No. Sure. You have to go to like a Bia Sweetie, like a candy outlet. No, to get you don't. Gum. I just saw it somewhere. I don't believe you. Well, look for it. You want to look hard. <laughs> You're right. It is an old gum. But you really don't have to hunt for it. I've never even heard of this gum. It was one of my dad's favorite. There's blackjack. That was the licorice gum. That's how you know how old it is. Tea berry, I think, is cinnamon. It was, yeah, my mom's favorite when she was. They still make them. So that tells me. It's not carried at Giant Eagle. How do you know that? Because I looked it up on Giant Eagle's website. And it tells you everything they carry? Yeah, you can search. Well, anyway, you won't have to look hard for it. There are places to carry it. Maybe I saw it at Target. I just saw it somewhere that was not out of the way uh, not long ago. Nevertheless, was it a mint gum? What were you chewing? Yeah, it was like a mint, like a refreshing. I got a bag of it. Hold on, let me. A bag of gum? Well, because normally. Little I squares have... or sticks in foil? No. Oh, it's... five below. This isn't even advertised. Not even... It's like Eclipse, and I just got <clears throat> a little pack here. Yeah, because five below's got that whole candy aisle with all mm-hmm. kinds of weird stuff in there. So that's. Sugar free gum. Incredibly fresh breath. Incredibly. Do you think that you, that it has it uh, uh, murdered the onion odors? I don't know. How many pieces are you chewing? I do two at, t- two at a time. Two at a time. Okay. It's like they're really small squares. I'm going to have some more. But I'll wait till in the break. No, listen. I You're back there by yourself. You're only uh, breathing. I know, but I... To I, yourself. I, now, I know that's probably ludicrous, but like I these little mic fibers, I swear that... I can smell breath on here sometimes. It's probably actual debris. Ew. <laughs> yeah. I wipe Multiple down everything people. every day, like because I know I probably spit when I talk. So I oh, know it's also orders. It's also what they say you should. Yeah, but a lot of people don't listen. Hmm. 
What is with the gum? Okay, well, there you go. Anyway, uh, there I, I, I was, uh, when I was reading that China story, I remember that we had, have or had, the bureau chief over there. And again, I don't know if he's still active, um, but it's there. If you listen to us uh, on the app, you can always leave messages there. It'll talk back button for us. Alan, this is Alex. Now, you're talking about National Cat Day, and I'm always behind on the podcast here, but now everybody knows, or they can speculate that I might have some offshore accounts where I'm keeping keeping some financials. Now, what people don't know is that the courts are trying to take my cats. The courts are trying to take my cats, Alan. I had to go. I had to get some Swiss offshore kennels, okay, in Switzerland to put my cats in. Oh, wow. Offshore kennels. What's it like? You put a cat in a kennel? You can. I mean, you can, but I didn't know that was the, is that usually what cats are put in? Yesterday was a Cat Lady Day, and I mentioned it only because our own Mary Santora. Uh, Mary uh, is a cat lady. I have a At cat. least in training. Mm-hmm. She has a cat. Who knows how many she'll have down the road. Thousands, probably. Well, that seems silly. No. Thousands of cats. But yeah, I'll own a big cat sanctuary like that bitch Carol Baskins. There's a, a girl named Emma Clare who, I guess, does a podcast in Australia. And uh, she has been dropped by a number of her sponsors after admitting that she killed cats when she was a kid. Oh. Well, at least she was being honest. Well, that's the kind of honesty that can get you uh, <laughs> far less money than you got before, too. Everybody thinks that, like, honesty is fundamentally great. Uh, if you're doing something that you get paid for, you should be real careful with that. Hold yourself accountable. Well, I guess she did, and so did some of her sponsors. Emco Beauty Skincare Brand and uh, another uh, makeup company that uh, sponsored or was involved with her podcast uh, dropped her after the revelation. I killed my cat. I didn't mean to. Uh. I was young. I was a child. I was, like, swinging my cat around. Like, I was just thinking it was like a a stuffed toy, and I accidentally let go of it. (laughs) And... It died from the fright. My sister did not speak to me for months. Died from the what? The fright. Fright. God, I hate that accent. I swung my cat around. Died from fright. I gave right. it a heart attack. Died from fright. There are a lot of stupid kids, though, aren't there? A yeah. lot of dumb, dumb, dumb kids. Mm-hmm. Universally, you can say, well, I was a kid and I didn't know any better. And in, in a lot of ways, that is true. I mean, you're fundamentally dumber as a kid. But even within that, a lot of stupid kids. I just thought it was a stuffed toy. You didn't hear it screaming as you were swinging it around. And But two cats. She talks about one there. She killed two of her cats. And um, as you might suspect, it did not go over well uh, with a lot of her listeners. Again, I don't know how well this thing does. She does a podcast called Simply Chaotic. And um, that would, you know, but she seems to be, I don't know her life, but she seems to be like, okay. If I killed a cat, like my hamster died, and I don't know how it died, and I blamed myself because I was like, I should have been there, and I could have helped it. I, like, these, what would these, you have done? Mouth to mouth? I don't know. I came I came home one day, and it was like, it was like it fell flat uh, underneath the tube that I had in its cage. Like it must. Oh, have just, it got pinned under its tube. It just must have fell or whatever, and I was just so heartbroken. I was like, this poor little animal. Like I was in. I had one job to take care of it, and it died. So these kids who are just like, up, oh, up, oh, kill my cat, or like, you know, it happened accidentally, they certainly get over it really fast. Our, our pets in my family are like a part of our family. Like, my mom is still upset that her dog passed away. She's still sad about that TikTok monkey. Yes, and that wasn't even her monkey. Like, pets. It took, it, 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 it took a lot of your mom's money, though. Yeah. Money she could have been sending to me to support my life. Right. That's got to make you feel upset. You're not mad that that monkey died. You're mad that that monkey got your inheritance. I'm like, you know what, Mom? Your mom gave your birthright, (laughs) meager as it probably is, to a TikTok monkey. You keep pulling this crap, Mom. I'm going to remove myself from our family plan. Right. Take that. (laughs) Take. I'm going to start paying my own cell phone bill. I won't need you that much no more. Wow. That much. He still might need her some. I won't need you that much. I think you should do that now as a preemptive measure. Because mm. then she won't hold that over you anymore. Mm, I don't know. Why? Because Cell phone I, plans just aren't that expensive I, anymore. I use this to compromise That's, her. 
You know. Alan, you're saying a lot of things today that are bothering me. And How I don't so? know if I'm just in a bad mood or what. <laughs> yeah, a couple like, of people are asking me if you're on the rag. Are you on the rag today? Why I, do I have to be on my period to be in a bad mood? Well, I'm Answer not saying you are. People, no, I'm not. <laughs> people are asking. So that drives sexist. me insane. It is it, so sexist. It, it drives wouldn't me have, insane. Well, it's not sexist. Men can't have periods. Well, watch um, what you're saying. It would not. It would not have occurred to me. I'm just passing along what some people have asked. Why are you mad that I said that there are some there, cell phone because plans don't cost that much anymore? I mean, I've been looking into it because I'm I'm technically still on my dad's family plan. I pay my own bill, um, but I've been looking into getting one for myself, and I can't find anything for less than like a hundred dollars a month. I don't know if that's not that expensive to you. No, no, no. There are plenty of cell phone plans that are available where they're like 30 bucks a month. I have not seen those. That's fine. I'm just saying they exist. That's what I'm talking about. You're talking about a family plan. No, not a family. Myself. Getting a, like, I've looked at the major web, like, carriers, like AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile. Yeah, but all this, what I'm saying is all the small ones are owned by the big ones. So when they go, hey, 30 bucks a month, they're owned by one of the big ones anyway. Yeah, but it's just a fresh coat of paint to get people that, you know. Aren't those usually super limited too? Where they're like, you don't, you only get 10 gigabytes of data or whatever. They might be, but all I'm saying is that's all some people need. The, but uh, what, that's uh, not what she needs. All I, well, I don't know what she needs. All I'm saying is cell phone plans are not as expensive as they used to be. If you're, if they're like, oh, you got HBO Max, you go, that, that's a whole other thing. I'm just saying for people that are like, hey, just need a cheap cell phone bill. Uh, I mean, yeah, if you just want a flip phone, you're not doing anything. Well, they're out there. I think you should switch to a flip phone. Why? How would I even do that? How would I drive to my comedy shows if I had a flip phone? You know, print out MapQuest well, directions? Yeah. Yes. I don't have a printer. <laughs> <laughs> well, buy a printer and then get a flip phone. Yeah. That printer and flip phone would cost you less than a regular smartphone. I plan. mean, it probably would. Yes. Here I am trying to save you money and I'm a dick. I didn't call you a dick. You didn't have to. That word never left my mouth. You didn't have to. You said to. you were annoying me with yeah. your statements <laughs> Well, all right, that's fair. T-berry gum is not a giant eagle, and there are no cell phone That's what you're still on? Under $100. <laughs> hey, Zach. Yeah. What's up? Hey, how's it going today? Oh, yeah, other than Mary being on the rag, it's not okay. On the rag. <laughs> <laughs> Completely understandable. Hey, all women uh, got to be, uh, got to get a piece of our mind somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Other people do it; it weirds me out, but I can touch my own. <laughs> Go ahead, Zach. <laughs> so uh, I just had a comment because earlier I was listening to Rover even, and there was another thing about the whole killing cats thing about them. They had a competition or something where they're taking in wild cats. Anybody who's killing cats, man, I mean, like, I would honestly expect to have the media scrutinized because that's like the making to a serial killer. It's definitely a red flag. Yeah, it's shades of Dahmer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, it's not not every kid. I mean, this girl, you know, I, apparently she posted a follow up message to her followers. And she's like, you guys got to chill out. Happened a long time ago. I was a little kid. So it's not always indicative but you're right i could it's, understand like the accidental like uh i got a I got a kitten i accidentally sat on it or i pushed this puppy down a slide and it broke its neck by accident <laughs> something crazy like that <laughs> right. off the wall but like let me just come out and tell the public hey yeah when i was a kid i i, I grabbed that cat up by its neck and and then that's the last i've seen of that cat how did what? I celebrate Just- Easter when I was 10? I had a handful of nails, and I nailed a squirrel to a tree. How you like me now? Exactly. How do you like me now? That's right. Oh, love you guys. All man. right. Thank I just, you. I just wanted to give you a shout. Have Thank a good you, one. pal. There's Zach in North Ridgeville. Hey, Jenny. Hi there. j j j Jenny. Hey. <laughs> What's up? So, so, Mary, there are so many better cell phone deals you can do. I pay, like, $38 a month with Verizon for a prepaid plan. You do not have to spend $100 on a plan. But you're not rocking a flip phone, are you? No, but I did go back to one, and it was the hardest thing to find one. But, no, I've got an Android. I've got a Pixel phone. I get the best data. The, it's 5G. It's like 38 43 I think I pay a month. Oh, that 5G. got to be careful, much- Jenny. That's uh, That's Bill Gates. Injecting you with nanobots, oh, yeah, that's right. but how many oh, yeah, oh, gigabytes God. of Maybe that's data why I'm do you so get, crazy. Jenny? How much? <laughs> how much data do you get? Um, so the, there's an unlimited option, but I get like um, I think 15 a month. Uh, I would use that on so maps alone <laughs> in one trip. Did you say naps? Well, you maps. Can maps. You can get the unlimited. Maps. I think for fifty dollars yeah. a month. All right. I think it's fifty dollars a month for the unlimited. So I'm just I'm not. 
I'm not traveling as much, so I don't have to. Yeah, do Mary that. would but obviously yeah, need more than that. But, well, because yeah. everything I do is on my phone. I don't mean just social media apps, but like all my flights, I use like the United app. I use like everything yeah. that I do, all my banking, I everything. I just got off the, off the phone with the airline myself. We're, we're traveling ourselves here soon again. We just got back. We're planning another trip, but. Yeah, you yeah see, Jenny's got to call the That's airline. That's what I mean. I right. can do two taps on my phone because I'm not limited to <laughs> eight gigabytes of data uh, Right. Or All right, thank you, Jenny. Uh, here's, uh, Be careful on the April Fool's jokes. <laughs> right, and a little bit of Jenny. All right, I got a break here. I'll have those baby clock tickets for you. Our, uh, arguably, the, one of the weirdest tours this year is Baby Metal and Death Clock, and they're coming uh, to the Agora uh, very soon. So if you want to check that show out, I will hook you up coming back. Another $1,000 is ahead as well. Next chance to grab some money from the Buzzard Bookie on the way at 3.30. The Alan Cox Show. On our free iHeartRadio.